Welcome to Middle Grade Book Talks. My name is Heather, Children's Specialist with the St. Paul Public Library, and I'm ready to share a couple of books that I've read this week that I've loved. They are very different in tone and subject matter, but similar in that they're both short story collections. If you wish to get the, um, these books, go to your library, or you can go online to request a copy at sppl.org. Also, if you need um, short story suggestions, click on the link below and that will direct you to a book list I've created. For the first book, I would suggest it's best for grades 5th and up and it comes in a print copy only. The second book, I would suggest for grades 4th and up and that one comes in a print and ebook version. Now let's get to the talks. We need to keep this short. These are short stories. War at the Snow White Motel and Other Stories by Tim Wynn Jones. I had to pick up this book for a couple of reasons. First, the title, War and Snow White. I mean, two words, two ideas that are so incongruous. That definitely intrigued me. And also, I just love the idea of staying in a motel named after a fairy tale character. Second, or third, I should say, um, this is the latest book by Tim Wynn Jones, so I had to pick it up. Inside, you will find nine stories, mostly about boys on the brink of adolescence, each dealing with a different challenge or issue in their lives. It could be um, parents separating, or bullying, or just dealing with the complexities of uh, relationships be between their family and their peers. Uh, most of the stories are, uh, take place in current times, but my favorite one takes place in 1964, and it um, involves Rex and his family, and they are on a trip from Ottawa to Maine for vacation, and they make a little stop along the way at the Snow White Motel. Well, there's an incident at the swimming pool between Rex and an older teen, and Rex is so afraid that there's going to be a battle between the two of them. Um, but he soon learns that this teen has much, much bigger um, problems to face. The Vietnam draft. So while there is this big uh, Snow White towering outside the motel inviting uh, guests in, a closer look at her reveals, you know, chipped paint and bird poop on her shoulder, a missing finger, the magic long worn off. In another story, we meet two best friends who think they have an idea of who robbed a grocery store. And um, when they confirm their suspicions, they decide to act on a pledge that they made years ago. And the story takes a little bit of a twist. I think all the stories really kind of show examples of courage and a quiet strength. They are kind of quiet stories. They're very beautiful and have a a bit of sadness to them as our protagonists leave um, childhood behind. If you haven't picked up Tim Wynn Jones, I hope that you will now and read his latest, War at the Snow White Motel and Other Stories. Funny Girl, Funniest Stories Ever, edited by Betsy Bird. Uh, do you have a superpower? Well, th the writers in this book, they do. Do you want to know what it is? It's called a sense of humor. It's true. The ability to make people laugh or the ability to laugh at oneself, even during an embarrassing or awkward situation, it really can be a super power. Inside, you'll find 28 stories, um, letters, comics, poems, quizzes, and even one Mad Libs featuring some of your favorite funny authors. There's C.C. Bell, um, author of El Duffo. Rita Williams-Garcia writes a story. She wrote One Crazy Summer, and so many more. The stories are short. They are funny. Many are gross and strange, and some are even autobiographical. Now, some of my favorites, um, there is a poem by Kelly DiPuccio, um, and her poem is about the agony of trying to find the perfect bra. Uh, there is a story by Akila Hughes, and she writes a story about a girl who doesn't like water, yet ends up at a pool party and suffers a very embarrassing wardrobe malfunction. Jennifer L. Holm, she contributes a story called, can we talk about whiskers? 
It's about Baby Mouse going to middle school and wondering what to do about her whiskers. Well, turns out a flat iron is not a great idea. And besides, whisker extensions are all the rage. Shannon Hale has a story about a girl trying to earn some money for science camp, so she thinks babysitting a couple of four-year-old twins will be a breeze. Not so much. Very funny and a little creepy. Did I recognize all the writers in this? I did not. But luckily, at the back, there's a section with mini bios on all the writers. This book is great anytime, but maybe especially when you're feeling a little bit down, need a pick-me-up, or if you just need to procrastinate a little bit on that homework. This is Funny Girl, Funniest Stories Ever, edited by Betsy Bird. You have been watching Middle Grade Book Talks. My name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me. If, again, if you're interested in these books, go to your local library or go to sppl.org to reserve a copy. I'll be back in another week or two with another couple of books. And until next time, whether it be short or tall or long, just keep reading. Bye-bye.